Does the government exist to work for us or do we exist to serve the government? You know that question. We address it directly or indirectly every night on Freedom Watch. Did I say every night? Yes, I did. Starting tonight, as you know, Freedom Watch is daily, right here on the Fox Business Network at 8 p.m. Eastern. But we shouldn't need to ask such a question about who works for whom today. And yet, as you have seen with your own eyes, since the FDR years, the government tells us how to live, taxes whatever it wants, breaks its own laws, and folks like you and me are left to ask about the Constitution. What about the Constitution? It's the supreme law of the land. It limits the government. The government can't change it, and everyone who works for the government has taken an oath to uphold it. If the government doesn't follow the supreme law of the land, do you think it will follow the laws it has written and on which it imposes on the rest of us? Let's be blunt. Without fidelity to the Constitution, the president becomes a prince, and the Congress becomes a parliament, and the government becomes authoritarian. Is the government authoritarian already? Well, did you ever think you'd see the day when government agents without any vote by you or by the Congress and with utter disregard for the Constitution and for your human dignity would claim the power to assault innocent Americans with a dangerous level of radiation or grope our private bodily parts in public? The government gets its powers from the consent of the governed. We don't have the power to do this, and thus we don't have the power to enable the government to do it. The Constitution itself prohibits searches without a warrant. If groping somebody's bodily parts is not a search, I don't know what is. Groping a child or anyone without consent is a serious crime. It's a sexual assault. Doesn't the government have the obligation to obey the same laws that we hire it to enforce to protect us? What employer lets his employee grope him or her or their child or grandmother? If we don't say enough is enough and say it now, then we are a nation of sheep. And a nation of sheep produces a government of wolves. Don't let that happen here. As for our show, we are thrilled to be your night watchman every night of the week. A good lawyer makes a promise to a jury. He says, I promise you that if I have the evidence and I produce it, I expect you will promise me a verdict. And if I don't produce the evidence, I don't expect a verdict. Well, Freedom Watch promises to watch the government for you as it lies and cheats and steals. And we know if we do that, that you will be with us. We will fight for your freedom. We will expose freedom's enemies. And we will, we will be unafraid. We are your night watchman from New York, defending freedom. Good night, America.